Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll talk about how to implement Auto ML for time series forecasting using the uh, a Python library called as Auto TS. So let's get started. It would be a, a, a code only vlog. So we will try to understand the codes and how we can use Auto TS for Auto time series forecasting. So first of all, uh, we would be importing the required libraries NumPy and Pandas, and we will generating a synthetic data for us. So basically, uh, I have generated a univariate of time series data for us at a day level frequency where we have 100 samples uh, now uh, after creating this artificial time series with 100 samples uh, for at a frequency of one day i am also introducing some seasonal patterns within the data set at every seventh value uh, so that we can have some season and some trend component present in the data uh, in the time series to make it more interesting and to make it more tough for the uh, auto ml uh, auto ml library for forecasting now the next step is to pip install the auto ts library as you can see you can follow this code uh, now we will be importing the auto ts library and we will be setting up the configurations so here you can see a lot of hyperparameters that needs tuning so i will be explaining all these hyperparameters one by one so the first one being forecast underscore length so how long we wish the forecast to be so it can be the case uh, after uh, or applying auto ml on particular time series data set what should be the forecast length like for how many days we wish to forecast for one week for two weeks so here I have mentioned it to be 15 days. Now, uh, a case to be noted is that uh, the longer this duration is, like if you put a 30, the more the chances that the far you move from the last data point in the training data set, the more erroneous the result can be. So, uh, a forecast length of 15 would be producing more uh, less error as compared to a forecast length of 30. So, do remember this. Apart from that, the frequency has been mentioned, which is at day, day level, hence D is mentioned. Prediction interval is 0.95, that is a confidence interval. Ensemble is none. Sample so ensemble is nothing but combination of two or more models. Uh, this ensembling can be done by like you can mention which parameter, which models to use. Uh, it is not that important. Models underscore more equals to deep. So there are multiple parameters for that also. Uh, deep, default. So uh, depending upon that, uh, the latency would be decided on how deep the model should go uh, in learning the parameters. Uh, the next one being model list. So this is very important. So model is we have mentioned univariate because our time series is univariate. So here you will see uh, using this particular command uh, auto ts dot models dot model list import model underscore list. When we see the keys for this model underscore list, you can see all the present options for model underscore list parameter. So it can be all default fast, super fast, parallel, fast, parallel, univariate, multivariate. Uh, there are many categories that you can go and uh, figure out. A few of them that I understand are univariate, like uh, just the time series historic data should be considered, no other variables to be considered. Multivariate means multiple features are present. Uh, regression means a regressor means a regression model will be used, and so on and so forth. So depending upon different categories, different models will be tried out by the automobile library. Also, if you look into the models present in the particular category, like for example, in univariate, you can see different models that are present: zeros, naive, uh, ETS, unobserved components, gray kite, GLM date part regression there are many uh, models that are present and you won't I, I tried finding explanation for each of them but failed badly because time series concept is very difficult and the resources are very scarce so though I do I know I have covered in my previous video around Arima I have covered about ARDL uh, univariate regression you can understand but uh, GLMs I have covered but uh, not all of them because they are very difficult and I am not able to find any good resource for that now to pass a parameter to the model underscore list con uh, configuration in this particular auto ts function there can be two methods either you mention the just the category name univariate multivariate etc or you pass a list of model names arima ets so uh, again depending upon the time that you have because if you're mentioning the whole category all the models in that particular category will be tested out or else if you make a custom list on which you wish just uh, on which on which you wish to test uh, the auto ML library then you can uh, pass a list made of custom model names max generation is uh, it is an integer number uh, that models will be tested per algorithm so if you have 10 algorithms and you're mentioning max underscore generation as 10 so it will, it will the auto ML library will be testing out 100 models number of validation cross validations to perform uh, no negatives mean if it is set as true this means that the prediction will include no negative numbers uh, so it can be the case that they are at time series you are predicting such a quantity that can never be negative so you can set it as true 
and n jobs is basically number of cpu cores now once you set up the uh, the configuration for the auto ts function we will be fitting our model on the time series model and then predict now here in predict you can mention the forecast length again as well so here i have mentioned 30 in the configuration was 50 not a big deal now once you have uh, fitted your model so you will have an output something like this giving you the so there are multiple things present in this particular output in the it is mostly a log that which model was chosen transformation that were required and the different validation metrics that are used so here you can see whatever has been used seasonal difference robust scalar other transformation used unobserved component was a model used and the snap ma spl are all the metrics that have been calculated now the prediction object has five attributes so once you have fit your model you might wish to uh, you would wish to try to predict for the next 30 days so as we have mentioned here model dot ready forecast underscore line equal 30 so we will be uh, predicting for next 30 days so the object that we are getting prediction consists of five attributes one is the actual forecast upper and lower bound for the forecast so basically the confidence interval that we have set up is uh, is giving us this upper and lower bound and transformations and model parameters so once you have trained the model you have got to your results now how to save this model so basically a big limitation that auto ts has is that you can't really save the model directly you can save the configuration of the actual model but you need to train it once at least one before using so the author of auto ts believes that time series uh, models are very uh, much affected by data drift very frequently so like uh, like for example stock price value a stock price value uh, might be uh, some might be following some trend x uh, on a particular time uh, for like two weeks and the next week it might fo start following a negative trend so it is very much affected by it is not robust to external factors and the uh, time series is very much fluctuating so the uh, author states that key, uh, before using you should be retraining it once hence you can export the parameters into a csv uh, that are around the configs of the best model that auto ts has figured out and eventually you can load those parameters import that template and then fit on the data just once set max generation equals to zero so that will uh, that will train a model just once and then predict again wish to for if you wish to visualize the forecast for the data set that i was creating on which i tried my on which i tried auto ts so here you can see the results so the blue lines are the actual data and the yellow lines are the predicted lines. so here you can see that the results are pretty good though it is a very uh, easy time series to forecast but still the results you can see are pretty good by an auto library so you it definitely worth giving a try